there's always this thing, man, with people like if you if you have an innie or an outie, they say, you know, like your belly button. If it's like if it goes in or it goes out. And then the girl behind the register, she looks at me, she's like, that's the one. The K-I-M-O-N-O of gold, obviously the kimono, the gold kimono. I've always been a fan, man, of of like the Marvel comics and the superheroes. So I just thought like, hey, I gotta, I gotta paint myself some kind of superhero, you know what I mean? Like my gold kimono is kind of my cape, you know, like it's giving me uh, the musical superpowers. I always liked that about this, about this song, that it gives me that feeling. Like when I have that thing on, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm that guy, you know? It's the beach vibe already. Yeah. Now when I came into this world, I felt a little unprepared. When I saw my mama's eyes, I just stared and stared and looked around. <laughs> this is this is the very literal beginning of my birth. I thought it was cool to to like to just like kind of in an animated way just to start to talk about my basically me as a baby. So I'm I'm basically describing me being in a hospital at that at that time, being being born, looking around, like staring into my mama's eyes for the first time. Um, that's obviously not a thing I clearly remember, but I thought it was a cool way of telling the story, so that's that's why I chose that form. And looked around the room, happy to see Papa was there too. Then they said, this is Fiona, she'll be your older homegirl sister. I thought it would be nice to include them, you know, because I love them very much. I was also lucky to be born into a family like that, you know, where the parents are together and have a little older sister to learn from, you know. So I thought I'd... Uh, I'd, I'd give them a proper little mention in the song too, uh, to describe where, where, where I'm coming from. Oh my God, I felt like such a mister. My skin soft as butter. I was sweet like a whisper. Daddy, please don't mess up my umbilical cord. I need a cute belly button, though I don't know what for. But I and that's a, that's a, that's just a funny little line. Like like a lot of people have, have asked me about that line. Like, what are you talking about your belly button for? But I just felt it was a fun moment. Like, you know how the dad always like cuts the umbilical cord and I just became a dad, I did the same thing. There's always this thing, man, with people like if you if you have an innie or an outie, they say, you know, like your belly button, if it's like, if it goes in or it goes out, it's like the idea of your dad like doing that and like, yo, dad, don't mess me up. You know, like I'm a precious baby. Like <laughs> I gotta look cute. <laughs> I thought about it when I was doing it because it gave me the little scissors and I was like, oh shit, I want to like, you know, it's a, it's a moment. Like you don't want to mess that up. Like you want to be careful and like, yeah, I did a good job, I hope. Anyway, then the doctor came and said congratulations. It's a healthy boy and there's no complications. Yeah, that's when he turned his head to me as he said. Why don't you know? it's music is my calling like it's it's my destiny and that's what the whole legend of the go kimono track is about i named it that because of the book the alchemist i don't know if you know the book the alchemist but um it's a really really dope book that i've read a couple times and the main theme of the book is all about everybody has a personal legend you know like a destiny my legend is of music you know so that's why i thought the legend of the go kimono would be an appropriate title and it became the title of the album as well to tell the story of me, uh, yeah, becoming the the crowd shaker. Yeah, Skidgy, my man. We grew up together, you know, since kindergarten, and um, he was my, yeah, he's always been my musical partner in crime and somebody I always looked up to and who inspired me greatly. It was only right that he would appear in the story in the second verse because he, he's kind of my chapter, you know, like the second chapter. Like, started to make music together, writing lyrics and producing music and rapping and just all that, all that stuff. Especially us coming from such a small town and having such similar interests because there was no music scene in our town, you know what I mean? Like, it was tiny. Like, nobody was doing music or anything like that. So... For me to have found him around the corner of my house is just dude, such a blessing. That's how the, that's that's how the whole name um, 
came to be in the first place that I found a gold kimono in a, in a vintage shop um, and I saw it and I was just like, whoa, a kimono. Like there, were, there, there, there was a whole rack full of kimonos. And I walked in and I was like, fuck. Like, obviously I need a kimono. Like, it's so sick. I was like, these long, like, elegant, flowy things. And I was like, I gotta have one. So first I tried on a black one and I, I was in front of the mirror and I was like, all right, this is pretty fly, like looking around. Then I got the gold one and I pop it on and I'm like, woo! And then the girl behind the register, she looks at me and she's like, that's the one. And I'm like, I was all feeding myself, you know what I mean? So I was like, hell yeah. So that's, I walked out of there and I was like, gold kimono. It's a sick project name, you know? If I ever, if I, if I ever gonna do a project, I'm, I'm definitely calling it gold kimono. Thanks, man. Bless.